This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning. Up to Thursday, October 26th. I'm Ray Collins. Glad you're with us. And uh, John Scalzi, I walked past the window just now and I thought, oh, it's raining. Uh, the, the, our sprinklers are on here, it turns <laughs> out. <laughs> double take. Yeah, you, you gave me a double take there. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah, no rain in today's forecast. Plenty of sunshine, though. And some chilly temperatures out there for some folks, I think. You'll probably want to wear a light jacket or sweater if you're cold sensitive. Otherwise, if you're not, you're going to love what you see here. We have some 50s on the board. 52 in Arcadia, 52 Wachula, 53 Mayaka, 59 in Sarasota, 63 Longboat Key, 64. 54 degrees in Brainton. How about that? Satellite view shows plenty of sunshine coming your way as dawn breaks on the Sun Coast in about an hour or so. And we look for plenty of sunshine throughout the day with daytime highs in the mid 70s. Complete forecast coming up in a few. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic. Pretty quiet right now in Manatee County. One little blip there at State Road 70 as you approach 301 from the uh, east side. Let's check farther south now. And once again, we'll see along the bayfront, this time in the uh, northbound lane as you head from uh, Osprey toward Orange and toward the bayfront. That's the issue there in mid Sarasota County. South County, all clear at 501 on your Thursday morning. An autopsy has confirmed that a 10 year old South Florida boy is among the state's youngest victims of the opioid crisis. A report from the Miami Dade Medical Examiner confirms that the boy had fentanyl and heroin in his system. The autopsy lists the boy's death last June as an accidental drug overdose, though it's not clear how the deadly opioids got into his system. Heroin mixed with fentanyl is a common street drug now. Miami police have said he apparently took the drug sometime within the hour it took him to get home from a public pool. No one has been charged in his death. The opioid crisis is not going away. According to the CDC, in 2015, 62 people died every day from prescription opioids. That number is now estimated to be even higher in 2017. John Lawrence reports. President Trump says the U.S. can no longer ignore its opioid crisis, saying it's a national emergency. On Thursday, Mr. Trump is expected to make that declaration official. Once opioids are classified as a national emergency, states and federal agencies will have access to more resources to combat the issue. Right now we see delays uh, from when patients are able to enter treatment and because we do not have residential treatment in our community or opioid specific detox. So these are some things that we're diligently working on. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports more than 22,000 people died from prescription opioids in 2015. That was an increase from about 19,000 deaths from the year before. So how did opioids become such a problem? Everyone should have known that these were addictive drugs, but doctors were duped. They were told that there was less than 1% chance of getting addicted as long as you were under a doctor's care. Former Mississippi Attorney General Mike Moore got the biggest corporate settlement in U.S. history from the tobacco industry. Now he's tackling big pharma. It should have been a market maybe three or four hundred million dollars a year, and they wanted to grow it to a five or six billion dollar a year. So it's pretty much you know, money over people's lives. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Hurricane Harvey has claimed another victim about two months after making landfall in Texas. Two people are confirmed dead from a flesh-eating bacteria found in the floodwaters. One doctor says the bacteria can spread within minutes. The CDC recommends proper wound care to prevent bacteria from spreading, even if you have a small cut. The tab for Hurricane Irma continues to rise, and Florida legislators are warning it could require some tough budget choices next year. Governor Scott's budget director told a Senate panel the state has spent nearly $650 million so far in the aftermath of the storm. And they expect that total to go even higher in the weeks ahead. It does not include money that the federal authorities are giving directly to Irma victims. Florida should get most of its expenses reimbursed by the federal government, but that money may not be paid anytime quickly. A joint FEMA and State Disaster Recovery Center is opening in Sarasota to help residents apply for disaster assistance and get answers to their recovery questions. The center opens today through Sunday at the Robert L. Taylor Community Center in Newtown. The hours vary today through Saturday. It'll be from uh, 8 until 8 p.m. and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Also here on the Sun Coast, Nate's Honor Animal Rescue will take in 24 cats and dogs displaced by Hurricane Maria. The animal shelter is working in conjunction with the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, 
Wings of Rescue, and other Florida shelters. The newly received animals will be put up for adoption soon. Nates expects to welcome the animals about 5 o'clock today. For more information on the animal's arrival, you can go to nateshonoranimalrescue.org. The force of Hurricane Irma is helping dig up southwest Florida's past. Archaeologists are discovering ancient artifacts found near uprooted trees on Marco Island. This is all happening at the same time around the Otter Mound Preserve, which has been closed to the public since the storm hit more than a month ago. Historic pieces from the Calusa tribe dating back thousands of years, all revealing themselves to the world for the first time in ages. Experts from the Florida Public Archaeology Network along with museum curators, are surveying the historic Otter Mound site for artifacts after Hurricane Irma ripped up the trees that once concealed them. You can go down and pick up a, a, an artifact and, and someone else held that same artifact and made it centuries ago, right in the same spot that you're standing. It's a pretty unique feeling. It's sad to see, you know, something that's been here for uh, hundreds or thousands of years be damaged by a storm. But it also presents a unique opportunity for us to work on such an interesting site like Otter Mound. Archaeologist Rachel Kangas says their goal is to keep most of the artifacts on the site once they're GPS tagged and logged, but some will go to the Marco Island History Museum to serve as a history lesson of those who occupied Collier County many years ago. And speaking of uncovered artifacts, a fossil found in northern Africa is significantly altering our origin history. The Homo sapien fossil is the oldest ever discovered. This is in Morocco. But where it was found is the interesting part. Ethiopia was previously the site of the oldest Homo sapien fossil. So how did this happen on the other side of the continent? Well, archaeologists are working on the project. They're saying that our ancestors were much more dispersed and much earlier than previously thought. Back in this country, the five Michigan teenagers charged with throwing a rock off a highway overpass and killing a passenger are still in jail today. The judge denied bond last night. They're accused of killing a man by throwing a six-pound rock through a windshield. Reporter Andy Rose spoke to the victim's family. It's not a prank. It's second-degree murder. I don't think anybody's laughing. Five teenagers who have been charged with second-degree murder for throwing rocks off an overpass and killing a man have been denied bond. The teens, aged 15 to 17 years old, were somber as they were arraigned in a Michigan courtroom Tuesday. The boys were throwing rocks off a highway overpass near Flint last week when one of the large boulders flew through the windshield of a van. 32-year-old Kenneth White was struck in the face, head, and chest while riding in the passenger seat and killed. White leaves behind a fiancé and a young son. He took away a child's father <laughs> and the love of my life. <laughs> and a stu his stupid act took away a life. All five teens are being charged as adults with one count of second-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder, along with several other charges. I don't believe that this was a deliberate attempt to take somebody's life. It was a willful and wanton act that resulted in somebody's death. If convicted, the teens could face life in prison. But according to White's father, no punishment would ever be enough for the people who took away his son. Even if they spend 30 years in prison, they get to wake up every single morning. They still get phone calls from their parents. They still get visitors. My son don't get none of that no more. That was taken away from him for something stupid. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for November 2nd. I'm Andy Rose reporting. And on a lighter note, uh, Simmons, the loggerhead turtle, will be released today in Panama City. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration experts rescue the turtle. They took it to the Gulf World Marine Institute. The turtle was suffering from a head wound. Simmons is back in full health and will be released later on this morning in the Panhandle. Always good to hear those awesome. rehab stories. Yeah. Yes. Another chilly start out there. Feels kind of nice, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really different. Yeah, it feels <laughs> great, except the windows open last night. Did you really? You know? Yeah, sure. Turned the air conditioner off. Well, it was great. I got these trees outside my window that I'll start sneezing right away if I open the windows. Oh, you know? well, I have no solution for that. <laughs> Nor does my doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some uh, very sunny weather out there this afternoon, though, and it's going to be very, very fall-like and beautiful. Changes coming up the weekend, though. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay, also ahead, uh, first alert traffic, and the Sun Coast is getting a new hockey rink. We'll get local reaction and tell you why the NHL wants to build it. And later in the hour, President Trump and Republican tax writers reopen the door to changes in the 401k program. What the president has to say about the new plans.
For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. Listen to this important message. If you owe money to the IRS, you will want to hear this. The IRS is cracking down on those who owe back taxes. They send out devastating letters, garnish paychecks, and even put liens on your home or business. You may have heard of it. It's called enforced compliance. Penalties and interest compound daily on your back taxes, putting you under a mountain of debt. Tax 10,000 has years of experience connecting people with tax resolution specialists who will negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. Working through the IRS Fresh Start program, they will handle all the necessary forms and can negotiate a tax settlement with the IRS. It's that simple. And if you qualify, you may end up saving thousands of dollars, finally ending your financial stress. Now is the time for a fresh start. Now is the time to call Tax 10,000. 800-699-3188. That's 800-699-3188. Call now. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking an account executive to join our winning sales team. This is an outside sales position covering the Tampa DMA. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. ABC 7 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Well, that's pretty nice. The temperature below 60 finally. And you know what? We'll probably lo lose a few more degrees before, of course, we start to warm up a little bit as the uh, sun begins to work. Uh, still got about two hours left, though, before the sun rises. So we'll probably see this drop down in about 56 degrees or so for a nighttime low. We have a northeast wind coming in lighter this morning at about 7. Yesterday was a very breezy, gusty day. Well, not so much today. Today, those winds have relaxed. Dew point at 50, making it feel very comfortable across the entire region. 55 North Port, 54 Punta Gorda, 65 at Boca Gran. We have a uh, 59 degrees in Bradenton, 57 in Parrish, 55 in Wachula. So temperatures pretty cool most everywhere. And dew point values all the way down to Key West are in the 50s. Look at there, 43 in Orlando and Jacksonville. That is an indication of that drier air that has allowed our temperatures to fall off. And you know what? The good news is we'll have a couple of days over the next seven days where the moisture increases again. But for the bulk of that seven-day period, we're going to enjoy some pretty comfortable temperatures and some pretty comfortable relative humidities as well. So it's, it's kind of a nice thing to see. The first front moved through, brought us that high pressure ridge, which will be the dominant feature for our weather today. That brings us the sunshine and the very pleasant conditions. The lighter winds as that high basically sits over us. And then back to the west, we'll watch that frontal boundary approach and the area of low pressure down to the south lift northward. Now, this spinning area of broad low pressure is the one that's being watched by the hurricane center right now it looks like it'll lift north and probably head off to the north and to the east south of us well south of us but will spread its moisture across the peninsula so that as this front approaches it starts to wring out some of that moisture and bring us a good chance of some Saturday showers, probably the second half of Saturday. Scattered showers for the most part, not a real rain out. But as that front moves through, it'll eventually whisk that moisture away and bring us again another bout of fall-like weather. So fall weather conditions continue today. Warmer temperatures tomorrow as that high drifts east and shifts our winds a little further to the east. And then we watch for those weekend rains. And that 40% chance of development with this system, slightly less chance today than there was yesterday. We're seeing some interference with some of the uh, mountains in Central America and that system's uh, organization. So that's yeah, good news. Northeast wind coming in about 10 to 15. 
Uh, look for about an east wind surge tonight at about 15. And the seven day forecast includes some beautiful weather as well as a little bit of rain. Back to you. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic. Still pretty quiet in Manatee County. A little blip there at State Road 70 as you approach 301 from the east. Otherwise, all clear. Let's check farther south. And now we'll see a new development there on Bee Ridge Road as you cross over Veneva in the westbound lane. Perhaps the ongoing construction project there. And then South County maps will show us uh, perhaps something on US 41. No? All good at 516 on your Thursday morning. Well, this might sound kind of random, but the National Hockey League is building a street hockey rink in Lakewood Ranch. The idea is to recruit more young hockey fans. As our Dwayne Lindo shows us, it's one of 10 rinks they're building in the region. The Ellington Ice and Sports Complex is a great place to find young hockey talent, Lightning fans. It's just kind of fun to be a Lightning fan. And passionate young players. Ice hockey, something I, it's just something that I love. It's kind of really hot. And with the sport growing in popularity with young kids around South Florida, the Lightning are planning to build an outdoor hockey rink at the premier sports campus in Lakewood Ranch. Former Lightning greats Vince LeCavier and Dave Andrichuk were on hand for the big announcement this morning. Elementary school students in Lakewood Ranch also had the chance to play as part of the Build the Thunder youth hockey program aimed at creating new hockey players in the area. Whether it's correctly holding a stick, um, how to push off, learn to skate, anything. I mean, posture, hockey stance, just the small things. Lightning CEO Steve Griggs says it's the Lightning organization and Schrader Manatee that will bring this whole project to fruition. Building leagues and, uh, and teams and, and have new coaches and new players and really introducing the great game of hockey to the folks down here in Manatee. Griggs also expressed how vital this rink will be for generations to come. I think when uh, you create a brand like that where people are really in love with the, the team itself, uh, it, 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 tr it transpires to, to sellouts and to people getting engaged in the, in the, in the sport itself. Dwayne Lindo, ABC7, your Suncoast News. So they'll break ground in a few weeks and should be complete by the year 2019. Still ahead in Good Morning Suncoast, Tesla comes to the rescue, providing solar to restore power at Puerto Rico's Children's Hospital. And at 5.30, IBM is offering double paid leave to its workers. We'll tell you which ones. Those stories and more when we come back. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills, wow, stop stains, and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable too. My grandkids destroy everything but with couch coat my couch is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. We were sleeping that day and he was literally going at every window and banging as hard as he could. He was scared to open the door when people knocked, scared to come home because I was afraid that they'd be waiting for me. A single mom signs a rent-to-own contract that sent her and her kids into hiding. See why signing on the dotted line keeps you under their thumb. I'm Alan Cohn. We'll have advice from experts at the trapezoid. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Just a reminder, in case you want to check out our Facebook pages, we each have some individual pages. You can check out mine at Ray Collins, ABC7, and John's at uh, John Scalzi, ABC7, within the Facebook uh, page. And you'll see the updated content we upload each day. Check it out and say hello. We'll write back right away to you, probably. 520 right now this morning. 
electric car maker Tesla using its technology to help Puerto Rico recover from Hurricane Maria. ABC's Candace Gibson and Diane Macedo have details in this morning's Tech Bites. In today's Tech Bites, Tesla is helping turn the power back on in Puerto Rico. The company is providing solar panels to restore power at a children's hospital. The medical facility was forced to run off generators after Hurricane Maria. It says the new panel will supply all its power needs. Uber now has a credit card. The ride-sharing company is partnering with Barclays and Visa. The card will have a point system that's built right into the Uber app. And points can be used as credits to pay for rides. Applications for the card start next Thursday. And this is probably Jennifer Lopez's most famous look, right? She wore that dress at the 2000 Grammys. Well, a magazine editor now says that dress is the reason for Google Images. He claims so many people wanted to see the dress online that it inspired Google to launch its image search. Well, thank you, J-Lo. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Those are your Tech Bites. Have a great day. Tech Bites. Brought to you by Lyrica. To everyone else, I look like everyone else. But on the inside, I feel chronic, widespread pain. Fibromyalgia may be invisible to others, but my pain is real. Fibromyalgia is thought to be caused by overactive nerves. Lyrica is believed to calm these nerves. I'm glad my doctor prescribed Lyrica. For some, Lyrica delivers effective relief for moderate to even severe fibromyalgia pain and improves function. Lyrica may cause serious allergic reactions, suicidal thoughts, or actions. Tell your doctor right away if you have these, new or worse depression, unusual changes in mood or behavior, swelling, trouble breathing, rash, hives, blisters, muscle pain with fever, tired feeling, or blurry vision. Common side effects, dizziness, sleepiness, weight gain, swelling of hands, legs, and feet. Don't drink alcohol while taking Lyrica. Don't drive or use machinery until you know how Lyrica affects you. Those who've had a drug or alcohol problem may be more likely to misuse Lyrica. With less pain, I can do more with my family. Talk to your doctor today. See if Lyrica can help. Enjoy fine wine, craft beer, and delicious foods, all while supporting a great cause at the 16th Annual Suncoast Food and Wine Festival presented by Publix, Saturday, November 11th, from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Sarasota Polo Club. Taste wines from around the world and sample cuisine from the area's finest restaurants. All proceeds benefit a variety of local charities and Rotary Club projects. For tickets and information, visit suncoastfoodandwinefest.com. If you're over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days, I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. A free book to help you maximize your retirement income from television host and three-time author Josh Melberg has been released. This book reveals little-known truths about annuity strategies in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we are about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known secrets we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. Call 800-307-2040 now and and you'll receive a free copy of Josh Milberg's book, Next Gen Annuity Strategies Revealed. As a bonus, we'll also send you the number one mistakes retirees are making with their investments today and a free DVD on how you can get up to 33% more income in retirement. Call 800-307-2040 to have your free information kit rushed to your door. Again, that's 800-307-2040. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service three times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317 Go online or visit a Target store today. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Letting my friends online know I was quitting kept me on track. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. 
I kept on trying, learned something each time. Do whatever it takes. No matter how many times it takes. We did it. You can too. For free help, visit cdc.gov slash tips. ABC7 is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. This half hour on Good Morning Sun Coast, the latest on possible changes to your taxes. An update from Capitol Hill. New information about the Las Vegas massacre, why police think the shooter may have wanted to escape. And caught on camera, a South Florida thief who takes off with a gold necklace. Those stories and more right now on Good Morning Sun Coast. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. And good morning, early risers. Almost 527 right now on this Thursday morning, October 26th. I'm Ray Collins. And once again, as you go outside, you'll feel a chill in the air. Almost cold out there, John Scalzi. Yeah, I think some people will probably want to wear a light sweater yeah. this morning. Uh, you'll be able to get rid of that, I think, this afternoon, though, as the temperatures just are, are going to be absolutely fantastic. I personally like this cooler temperatures. We're looking at basically 50s in many locations, even some low 50s. Mark and Palmetto, one of our weather watchers, Phoned in with a 53 degree temperature there. 58 degrees, says Richard in Northport. And that's pretty much the case everywhere. A few 60s right along the immediate coastline. But check out the temperature drop in 24 hours at this hour. We have a 9 degree temperature drop in Sarasota over this time yesterday. 12 degrees in Venice. 12 degrees in Northport, 13 degrees in Inglewood. We'll, we'll top it out today, though. Warm like we did yesterday, coming in in the mid-70s. And there'll be lots of sunshine in the forecast. Maybe a few showers this weekend, though. We'll talk about that coming up in a few, right? All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Some congestion there at uh, 14th Street West and Cortez. Beware of that. Also, the usual at State Road 70. Let's check farther south now into Sarasota County. We'll see more buildup on Bee Ridge Road, this time in both directions, westbound and eastbound, around Beneva and McIntosh. So take note of that. And South County all clear at 528 on your Thursday morning. Our top story this half hour, more talk about tax reform on Capitol Hill. And some questions remain about the future of the 401k. ABC's Serena Marshall has a preview. Americans' retirement savings could be the battleground for Republicans' promised tax overhaul. President Trump eager for a legislative win, pushing tax reform on Fox News. They are passing this bill along very rapidly. We have to get tax cuts and just pass it along. This will be the biggest tax Right. cut in history. It's what could pay for those tax cuts, though, that could put 401ks in the crosshairs. On Wednesday, the president promising. 401ks to me are very important, and they're important because that's one of the great benefits to the middle class. But just seconds later. Well, maybe it is, and maybe we'll use it as negotiating, but I trust, trust me. The response after the top Republican writing the plan said there could be limits on how much people can contribute to their retirement accounts. And as a flip from just two days ago, when the president tweeted definitively, there will be no change to your 401k. Current law allows you to contribute up to $18,000 a year, tax-free, until you are ready to use it at retirement. The change Republicans have floated would lower that contribution cap to only $2,400 a year. Republicans argue it would force Americans to put money into retirement plans that are taxed immediately helping them pay for some of those tax cuts. Democrats opposed to the idea and the tax plan. 80% of the GOP's tax cuts go to the wealthiest 1% at the expense of children and working families. The full plan is expected to be revealed next week, and Republicans are hopeful they'll be able to pass it with a simple majority vote by Thanksgiving. President Trump hoping to sign it by the end of the year. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington. The Trump administration is making it more difficult to renew H-1B visas. Those are the popular visas for highly skilled foreign workers seeking employment in this country. They can be re renewed every three years. This week, immigration officers were advised to give extension requests the same amount of scrutiny as first-time applications. President Trump has eyed the program for reform and criticized employers who abused the program. Supporters say the new policy helps protect American workers. Critics argue that it aims to limit foreign workers. 
Four female U.S. senators have joined the Me Too campaign, which focuses on the issue of sexual harassment and assault. North Dakota's Heidi Heitkamp says she was approached by a retired sheriff's officer back in 1993 at an event where she was discussing domestic violence. Heitkamp says the man said men will always beat their wives and there's nothing you can do about it. She says we've come a long way in the fight against domestic violence and we can do the same with sexual assault. And unless everybody speaks up, unless everybody considers this part of a, uh, a needed cultural change, things won't, won't get better. And I want things better for my daughter. I want things better for uh, well, hopefully some granddaughters. Senator Heidkamp says everyone has a story about workplace harassment or sexual assault, and it will take everyone speaking up to solve the problem. It has been almost a year since a California mother was abducted while jogging and then freed a few weeks later. Investigators are releasing new information now about this case, including Sherry Papini's husband Keith's initial call to 911 and sketches of the suspects. Uh, I just got home from work, and uh, my wife wasn't there, which is unusual, and my kids should have been there by now from, like, daycare. Pepini was missing for about three weeks before her captors released her on the other side of the road. FBI sketches of the two women whom Sherry says abducted her have been released. Both are Hispanic, one between 20 and 30, one between 40 and 50. Officials said they are not aware of a motive for the apparent kidnapping. Police in Tampa gathering all their resources amid fears that a serial killer is on the loose. Three people have been fatally shot in less than two weeks in the Seminole Heights neighborhood. Police believe the killings are, are, are linked, but they don't have a motive. They don't know exactly who they're looking for. Tampa's mayor and the interim police chief gave an update yesterday on the investigation. We have been, as you know, saturating this neighborhood for the last 10 days uh, with bodies, uh, with men and women, both in uniform as well as undercover. Um, we, as you know, are dead serious about this. Uh, we intend to bring this guy to justice, and we intend to stay here as long as it takes. This is not a neighborhood that has these type of crimes. This is not a neighborhood that doesn't cooperate with the police. So I don't think that is the issue. I think the issue is potentially somebody knows something, but they may not realize it. Mayor Buckhorn told officers, quote, this guy is not going to win. Bring his head to me, end quote. The NAACP is warning African Americans to be cautious when flying with American Airlines. The civil rights organization cited what they say is a pattern of behavior by the company that they deemed discriminatory. Four recent incidents were just described in the advisory, and people have mixed reactions. And she told me I couldn't stand in line within 10 minutes later. It's people with no children. It's people with... It's no women, it's just men in the line, or it's just whoever they choose to put in the line. It was horrible. I didn't experience that at all. It was great. It's my first flight, and I was treated very well. Talking about it is a good idea. If something's wrong, you should always speak out. The organization president says that he expects to meet with airline leaders to discuss corrective action. The FBI has been called to investigate a noose found in front of a home of a civil rights attorney in Pittsburgh. Jamelia Morgan says she and her boyfriend are the only black people on their street in the recent square neighborhood of Pittsburgh. I think I was shocked um, at first. I mean, it's still new, so I still get emotional about it, but I didn't think that anything like this would happen. And I think we should use this as an opportunity to talk about race in Pittsburgh and racism and uh, you know, I know my partner and I are definitely going to be starting that conversation, whether it's a town hall meeting here in Regent Square. Police will investigate the case as a hate crime. Investigators are announcing new developments in the weeks after that Las Vegas shooting massacre. A bullet pierced a nearby fuel tank during the attack, so investigators say that could indicate that the killer may have been planning an escape. Craig Fagner reports. We already knew that shots had been fired in the direction of aviation fuel tanks, located just east of the concert crowd. But now we can see that one round pierced this tank, while another round struck the top of a second fuel tank. Both have police evidence tags. It's information we first learned about during a press briefing 12 days after the shooting. It is believed the fuel tanks were fired upon with intent. 
Sources speaking with News 3 have said it would be virtually impossible to ignite an airport fuel tank with gunfire. That's because they're heavily insulated and there's no air inside. But during Sheriff Lombardo's October 9th press conference, he suggested that they could have been targeted to create an explosion or some type of distraction so that Paddock could escape. Depending on the splash he made during the shooting, uh, would it enable the first responders to be um, directing their attention in other locations, which would enable Mr. Paddock to um, just leave the hotel. Today, the Route 91 venue remains frozen in time, being preserved as it was the moment the concert turned to deadly chaos. However, shattered windows looking out from Paddock's 32nd floor hotel suite have been replaced. For four days after the shooting, they were untouched. Then on the 5th of October, covered over with panels. And then sometime between late Sunday and early Tuesday, the panels replaced. Meantime, a civil court judge has ordered Mandalay Bay to preserve all evidence from the gunman's room. But according to the report, a ho the hotel replaced the windows for safety reasons. They said glass shards were falling into the valet area down below. IBM is giving more parents time for paid off leave. The company's new policy doubles paid leave to 12 weeks. Mothers and fathers who had children after November 2016 are eligible for the new benefits. They have until one year after their child's birth to take leave. Moms who give births are covered under the medical disability for an additional six to eight weeks off work. IBM also unveiled other benefits for traveling mothers and financial assistance for parents who adopt or use a surrogate. The expanded policies apply to both full-time and part-time workers in this country. Two new heat-seeking drones could help save lives and crops. They sell for $1,500 and is outfitted with a thermal camera. It can help locate disaster victims by flying over devastated areas and identifying hot spots, including heat from a body. Images are then sent back to an app. The drone can also be used by construction, inspection, and public safety workers as well. It can determine when heat is escaping from a roof or what areas are still too hot after a fire. The French technology company called Parrot is also releasing the $5,000 bluegrass drone for farmers with mid-sized crops. It can fly for 25 minutes on one charge covering 74 acres. Through an app, the drone can tell a farmer if a crop is healthy and can help keep an eye on livestock as well. Sears is hoping a dose of nostalgia will bring joy this holiday season. The retailer is bringing back the Wish Book. The iconic holiday catalog features holiday decor, toys, games, appliances, and apparel. Sears first published back in 1933, but the catalog hasn't been published in the past six years. A digital version of the Wish Book will be available soon as well as a glossy limited edition catalog. Sears has been struggling financially in recent years and it's hoping to get consumers back into their brick and mortar stores this holiday season. In the past 10 years, Sears has closed nearly 60% of its stores. A brazen daytime robbery in South Florida, all caught on videotape, look at this. Surveillance video shows the man inside Nina's jewelry trying on a 24 karat gold chain. He admires himself in the mirror in front of sales clerks, and suddenly, let's watch this together, he takes off running with the chain still around his neck. There he goes. He bumps into the store owner, though, on the way out of the store. So the gentleman came in to um, look at some, uh, some jewelry pieces, and um, he kind of decided on what he wanted, and he just made a run for it. Well, police are still looking for the thief. Employees got a good look at his face, though, because he asked to try on several necklaces while he was still in that store. Hate to see that. So, yeah, yeah. that's not right. 59 degrees out there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's cooler than so. that. In other places, we had uh, one weather watcher phone in from Palmetto at 53 degrees. So there's wow. some there's some chilly temperatures yeah. around there, and I'm sure when Becky and my Aka phones in, she's gonna have a chillier temperature. Sure, she, she always will. does. Yeah. Uh, we have sunshine for you today, but some rain showers over the weekend. Talk about that in a sec. Also, head first alert traffic and tanning salons in several states are not following the age limit, and why they're dangerous for teens. Up next in Health Smart. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. 
Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today, a place for mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call a place for mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352 that's 1 800 290 0352. You studied hard, went to college, and achieved your dream, but it turned into a financial nightmare. If you have federal student loans and you'd like to reduce your payments, get more time, or have your loans completely eliminated, then we have good news. With one call to Student Loan Relief Services, you can find support and guidance. We've already helped thousands of people, and we can help you too. If you have $10,000 or more in federal student loans, you can qualify for payment extensions, payment reductions, or you may qualify to have your federal student loan completely forgiven. Call Student Loan Relief Services now to find out about your options. Take control of your finances and get out from under this burden. One of our student loan experts has the answers to your questions and great solutions to ease your financial burden. We're here for you. Call Student Loan Relief Services now. Call 800-759-0203, 800-759-0203. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Meteorologist John Scalzi. So 59 degrees, the air temperature, some places cooler than that. We have a dew point value coming in at 50, so it's still possible that our temperatures will drop a few more degrees. In fact, they will. We'll look for a northeast wind today, a little bit lighter than it was 24 hours ago. Certainly, we had some breezy conditions yesterday, gusts up to 30, so we won't see that today. However, as we head into the afternoon, we'll still have this... Uh, this north wind around and that will continue to draw down that uh, that lower dew point value air. So it's going to feel very nice around here this afternoon. Very fall like 51 degrees. Wachula 52 in Arcadia 52 in Mayaka 53 Parish Bradenton at 53 Lakewood Ranch 55 53 in Northport 58 in Inglewood and Venice and 62 at Longbow Key along the coastline just a little bit warmer because of the warmer water temperatures. Now, we don't have much in the way of a rain chance today. Dew points at the surface are very low, and the humidity is going to feel extremely comfortable today. Uh, aloft, the air is very dry as well, so you're not going to see much in the way of any kind of rainfall chance, probably till about Saturday, although we will start to moisten the atmosphere a little bit tomorrow, and we will work in some slightly warmer nighttime temperatures. And the reason for that is the high-pressure ridge that is basically over us is going to start drifting toward the east as that happens. Our winds shift east. That'll draw in some Atlantic moisture and kind of bring our nighttime temperatures up a little bit. And you'll notice the increase in humidity tomorrow afternoon, I think. 
The frontal boundary located back to the west of us will advance in this direction as well. And tropical moisture will lift northward. We'll watch this area carefully for any tropical development. But for today, fall weather continues, warmer tomorrow, and then the combination of this front and this tropical moisture will provide us with some weekend rain chances. Hurricane Center is still giving this a chance of development, about a 40% chance today. It was 50% yesterday. That's over a five-day period. But I'll tell you what, I don't think this is going to develop into a lot for us here on the Sun Coast. What's going to happen, I think, is that it lifts northward and then is rapidly pushed out into the Atlantic by that approaching front. But it will spread moisture across the state, and it's potentially a big rainmaker for South Florida, with rainfall measured in the inches, maybe three inch rainfalls in and around the Miami area on Saturday. Wind speeds, as I mentioned, start to decrease a little bit this afternoon, which will be nice for boaters. Still rip current issues and watch for a little bit of a wind surge later tonight. So a 10 to 15 knot wind decreasing to about 10 this evening, then bumped back up during the overnight to about 15. And the forecast calls for several beautiful fall days, a little bit warmer tomorrow, and then that chance of rain Saturday, scattered rain showers, and that frontal boundary that will work in combination with the tropical moisture to produce the rain will also bring us some cooler temperatures next work week. Right? Thank you, John. Checking traffic now in Manatee County. You'll see 14th Street West, also known as US 41, gets quite heavy as you approach downtown Bradenton northbound. Otherwise, uh, B Ridge Road still showing some congestion there as you cross over Beneva in the westbound lane. And farther south, we'll check that map and see uh, nothing to report at 547 now on your Thursday morning. In this hour's Health Smart, tanning salons are very popular still, even though experts say they are a cancer risk. And even though Florida and other states have age limits, many salons are not following the rules. ABC's Serena Marshall has our story. For people chasing that perfect year-long glow, tanning beds are a bright oasis during cold winter months. But health experts warn the UV light people are paying for causes skin cancer and is particularly dangerous for kids. 42 states have laws barring those under 18 from being customers. The stakes are high. Banning indoor tanning for minors could prevent more than 60,000 cases of the deadly melanoma avert more than 6,700 deaths, and save nearly $350 million in medical treatment. So do these laws work? Researchers writing in the journal JAMA Dermatology had callers pose as teens, dialing more than 400 salons in states that ban minors in tanning salons, asking if they could set up appointments, asking if a parent would have to give consent. Nearly 40% of those tanning salons seemed fine with defying their state law allowing minors to use their tanning facilities. Salons in rural areas, the South, and states with more than one tanning regulation were the most lax. A reminder to parents that even if your state has laws restricting teen use of tanning beds, you need to talk with your kids and let them know a golden tan isn't worth the cancer risk. With this Medical Minute, I'm Serena Marshall, ABC News. Other health news now. Concussions don't just affect football players. New reports say hockey players, even on the youth level, can also suffer long-term brain injuries. Research shows that many athletes still had brain changes months after suffering a concussion. The study examined a group of youth hockey players ages 11 to 14. Go through the testing, make sure that you are back to normal. And if there's anything that still feels off, don't return back to play because this study shows us that the brain is still recovering three months out and it still may have some issues three months out. Players who have suffered a concussion go through a series of tests that evaluate memory, reaction time, word processing, and balance, among other tests, before being cleared to play. However, the doctor notes that experts do not currently have the means to know for sure if the brain is fully healed, even if an athlete passes all those tests because adolescent brains are still growing. It's crucial for athletes to be honest with coaches and doctors about their symptoms. Project Sweet Peas provides support to families with a child in the uh, NICO unit, NICU, and this year they have premature babies in a Boston hospital costume just in time for Halloween. This is one of the many services that Sweet Peas provides to families. The group hand makes costumes and the hospital hosts a photo shoot, giving a sense of normalcy to families stuck in the NICU unit during the spooky holiday. I think when we can look back next Halloween and say we made it, it's going to be very special, very meaningful to look back on this photo. It's actually 
a group of um, graduate NICU families and people who've had babies on the NICU, and so they totally get it. They know what parents need. Yeah, for these parents, life in that unit can be isolating. And it's the goal of Sweet Peas to create community and support as well. What a great program there. And don't forget, if you want to stay up to date on breaking news and local news alerts, you can update your iPhone and iPad by going right now to our app store, to the App Store, and search for WWSB or My Sun Coast. Now, Android users will get the new version automatically. Ten to six right now, still ahead, our top local news headlines. And this woman got a plane to herself during a flight to Greece. What the crew had to say about it after this. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service three times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317 Go online or visit a Target store today. This is an important medical announcement. Talcum powder products from some of the best known brands have been linked to ovarian cancer. Any woman who has used a talcum powder product and has been diagnosed with ovarian cancer may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that women with long-term use of talcum powder, including baby powder for feminine hygiene, can increase the risk of contracting ovarian cancer. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to women who should have been warned about the risks of ovarian cancer with long-term use of talcum powder. Call the talcum powder hotline. If you or a loved one used talcum powder and were diagnosed or died from ovarian cancer, you must call now. Call 800-570-7599. 800-570-7599. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Well, you can't tell from this picture, it's 59 degrees right now in Sarasota. It's chilly out there. That driver in that car knows it. Probably has his heat on right now. Mm -hmm. It's a ringling causeway off in the distance. We'll have John's full forecast in just a few minutes here. 554, here are the top stories on the Sun Coast this morning. Street hockey is coming to Lakewood Ranch. The NHL unveiled plans yesterday for a cement rink at the Premier Sports Complex. They're trying to grow a new generation of hockey fans. In the wake of Hurricane Irma, the Anna Maria City Pier will be replaced. The Braden Herald reports today the city has voted to knock down the pier that was first built back in 1911. And suspense is building today on the release of documents related to the JFK assassination. The classified documents may shed new light on his assassination 54 years ago. 
Checking first alert traffic right now. Buildup continues on 14th Street West as you head into downtown Bradenton. Otherwise, all clear in Manatee County. Checking Sarasota County, mid area there. You'll see Clark Road having to slow down the eastbound lane after you get past the Beneva and uh, McIntosh area. And farther south, mostly clear at 555 on your Thursday morning. And finally, this woman got an entire plane to herself during a flight to Greece for just $60. And she says the full plane or not, the crew still had to go through the safety procedures completely. The entire crew knew her, knew her name, and she says they would stop periodically to say hello and chit-chat. She posted a photo online of her holding a drink surrounded by rows upon rows of empty seats, like her own plane for that. Wait a second, how did that happen? <laughs> Some sort of scheduling <laughs> snafu, wow. I guess. That's amazing. You know, when we flew from Italy back into Florida, just before Hurricane Irma, the plane was mostly empty. Is that right? No one wanted to fly into Florida. Oh uh, yeah, that's so, right, yeah, yeah, so you could stretch out a little bit. Huh? We did, yeah. some VIP treatment there. That's so. nice. We're looking at a beautiful sunny day. We'll have those details coming up in a few. All right, John, that and also traffic and more local news. And Stephanie Roberts joins us in a few minutes.